Hey guys, I'm LB, and let's check out Portal Invariant by Indifferential Test 1. Continue the testing track with advice from Aperture Science Pneumatic Diversity Events apply excessive pressure difference on your body in order to provide necessary transportation. Do not worry, any minor injuries will not negatively affect your final score. However, long-term success with partially nonlinear. Eh, I am just butchering reading this description. Do not worry, any minor injuries will not negatively affect your final score. However, long term success with partially nonlinear puzzle solving corresponds to your general survival in the future. Featuring testing elements such as temporary portal device access, buttons, excursion funnel, conversion gel, laser, proximity based de and deactivatable emancipation grules, difficulty medium, and there are hints. Uh, I don't know much about this, other than, obviously, as you can see, it's Maiden Hammer. And, uh, it was requested by the map author- Whoa. Whoa! I thought I was in a much larger room, but that is... Wow! <laughs> the, uh... Wow, the sense of scale here is just all wrong. <laughs> That's nothing wrong with the map at all, that's just... My eyes did not understand what they were looking at there. Or rather, my brain did not understand my, what my eyes were seeing. Before you leave, why don't we do one more test, for old time's sake? What does this lead to? Uh, I guess we'll never know. Okay, that's a portal device thingy. And I know that because it's difficult to walk over. Oh, these doors open. Can I go up here? I can. And I can go back down. Interesting. So there's a button there, but will cube stick to it, I wonder? Eh, let me over here, please. Thank you. What does this do? Uh-oh. Did I just turn it off permanently? Oh, good. It's off temporarily. Alright, so I guess that's just if it doesn't... Why would that turn off automatically? I mean, I know it said that in the description, but I don't think I quite understood what it meant by that. Hello. Uh... I guess I can't do anything here right now, because they don't have portals. So, back the way we came. Okay. Somehow I managed to, like, shoot up and back down. Here we go. Alright, so... Don't know what we need to do to get a portal device. Other than maybe... that, because the cable leads there, maybe? Yeah, so first we need to go through these doors, I guess. There is an empty portal holder. Now we can't go back until we solve this, alright. And I guess this room is the same thing. Oh, this one turns on based on proximity. Interesting. What the? Is that a portal gun inside the button? I don't think that's supposed to look like that. <laughs> uh... Something about that just isn't quite right. Interesting. If I do this, and then I put it back, the portal stays, and it doesn't clear when I walk through the fizzler. Oh, that is so cool. That is, like, multiple levels of cool right there, I'll have you know. That is, that is, like, mega cool. Alright, let's put the portal here. We can worry about breaking the camera later. That is, like, that is very creative. I, I have notes about doing that in my game. And this guy beat me to it. Alright. This is interesting. Is this like an easter egg or a place we have to actually go? Who knows. Guess we'll find out. Pick this up. And, uh... Could do that. And then we could head through here, but... I wanna know about... This area. 
Can I not shoot through here? I guess... I guess this is not meant to be. Alright, I guess that area's for later, then. Alright, let's head up here. What do we got? A... dispenser with nothing in it? Strange. Here's that, taken care of. Alright, so there's the cube. What exactly do we want to do with it? Leave with it? Yeah, I guess leave with it, right? Is this a proximity-based... thing? Oop, oh, let's not do that. Uh, hmm. How do I take the cube out? Eh, whatever. <laughs> there we go. That's what I wanted to do a while back. Get in there. Do not destroy vital testing apparatus. Yeah, whatever. Okay. Let's do that. Put this away. Maybe it'll let us go through the fizzler now? No. Do we need to bring it to the other room? Does this is their turn off? No. Let's do this. Let's just see here. Does this fizzler turn off? No. How do we get this cube out of here? I don't... Oh! There's a whole upper area that I didn't even notice. Well, it would help to look up. Uh, rule one of game design, the player does not look up. <laughs> Alright. So. It's a miracle I looked up in this room at all. <laughs> uh... What do I want to do here? If I want to go up, I know how I can. Do I need the cube in here, though? I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, uh, what we need to do is... Let's see here. Come on. Oh, right, it's already there. Do this. Take it away from me. And then we'll take this through the fizzler. Because we don't need the portal in this room anymore. And, uh... Let's see. Go through here. Go up here. Also, I may have slightly trapped myself. Potentially. But... I think this is the anti-trapping button. Yes, indeed it is! That is the button that means you did everything right. Alright, so... Oh, okay, I can't have both. I was curious about that. I guess now I just need to leave? Through either way? Yeah, that should work. I have a dual portal device! Hooray! And, uh... That might be... a slight bug. Potentially. That it didn't clear my other portal. I'm just gonna pretend that I wasn't have supposed to have a portal there. Alright, so. Now that we have a dual portal device, we can go do whatever the heck is up here, I guess. Interesting that Fizzler turns off for me. So that tells me that we're gonna need to bring stuff through here. Oh! Hey, now the music's playing because it knows that I have the portal device. Oh, that was a weird flash. That's just Valve freaking out, as Valve tends to do. So this is what we could see through the cracks. Yeah, still can't shoot through here. But it gives you a nice 
idea of the level layout in your mind, which is cool. Oh, that was interesting. What the heck happened there? That... does... what? Serves what purpose now? Because it doesn't actually block the laser. I guess it's to block some unintended solution, maybe? Also, I just noticed I can walk on this. Yeah, that needs to activate for a certain length of time in order to do the spizzler. Alright, let's head back over here, and let's look at the other side, then. Ah! Wait, what does this do? Why would I want to turn it off? Maybe that's just to make it easier to get through the portals? Perhaps... Let's try that. Oh yes, that... Ha! <laughs> well that was buggy. So this... Yeah, that blocks the laser from aim assisting. So does it just need like a really precise angle, or am I doing this entirely with the wrong idea in mind? Pretty sure this is not the intended method. What about up here? Maybe like this? Is that just is that what you wanted me to do? Okay. I'm not entirely sure why that's designed that way, but I'll take it. Alright, so now, hopefully we don't need. Like, what was this for, just so that I could experiment with understanding how this worked? Because otherwise I don't know what this button's for. Anyway, now that we can have access to this room... I don't think we need the laser anymore. Yeah, now we definitely don't. Well, this is weird. What's going on in here? Oh. Oh. Oh, hello! What does this do? Oh, this turns off the fizzler. Interesting. I can't actually fit in here, so that means all I can do is move this cube. But where do I want to move it? Is this really...? Surely I don't have to do that. What does this do? Okay, that's a funnel that I can't use. What does this do? Conversion gel? What?! You put conversion gel in here?! <laughs> Uh, I- I hope that you did a very good job of making it break through. Also, what the heck, Valve? I thought they patched that! Oh, oh, I know what happened. They did patch it, but I have yet to- when I- when I put back my custom portal colors, I probably unpatched this at the same time. So, that's my fault. This is... a cube dropper that is orange, meaning that it's already been activated. Orange means that it's activated and about to drop the cube, so I think you might want to use the other color, my friend. Alright, so, I see some arrows up here, and I think... I think this is, like, some sort of weird... ...thing where you have to, like, grab the cube and move it... ...down these hallways or something? Ah! There's a portal surface there. Who'da thunk it? Because I can guarantee you... ...that if I move a, move this portal... I will die. Oh, I didn't die. Now I'm hopelessly trapped forever. <laughs> oh dear. <coughs> I have made a big mistake. Oh, no I haven't. I don't know how intended that was, but I'll take it. Let's put this here, and 
And I will save. And I want to see how hopelessly trapped I can get myself. So now... Theoretically... Oh, that's interesting. How does this work? I can sometimes move through the portals, but not always? I guess my own body blocks me sometimes? What is- what exactly- how does this work? This is quite... strange, to say the least. And- oh, I didn't die. I totally expected to die. Also, I think I actually am trapped now. Oh, that time I died! Why didn't I die before? <laughs> Strange game, Valve. Strange game. Alright. Now what? I guess we want to get the conversion deal on the funnel first, right? Let's- let's work on this. Yeah, I think that's all we're gonna get, really. Alright, next order of business. Do we want any gel here? Probably not. This is interesting, what is this about? Also, what is this about? Uh... Is this a button I can press? Cannot press the button. You see that? It actually disables my ability to interact as soon as I'm looking at the button. So, this is clearly a scenario that was thought of and prevented. Oops, let's not have that happen, please. Oh gosh. Eh, let me out. Thank you. So. We have established that we can now use the funnel. But, how and why? And do we want conversion gel anywhere else? I don't understand what the whole conundrum with this is. Do I just want to get conversion gel on the ceiling? That's probably correct. Alright, so... Can I now... land here? Oh wow, I just barely fit here. Oh, what... what did that do? The music changed! This has been, I guess, permanently pressed? I don't recognize this music. Oh! This button is now... unpressable now. I guess the funnel's just permanently on now. Alright. What did I need the funnel for? Oh! Does the whole- Did those stairs move up so that I would need the funnel to escape? Is that what happened here? Did I just not even understand why I was solving this puzzle? Ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here. That was weird. Thank you. Alright, I need to... give me this. I need to put this here, actually. Will it stay? Not quite. Uh... That's not quite what I had in mind, but I can... I guess I can do this. That'll work, right? Yeah, that works. I suppose. Um... That did this, right? Do I have to sacrifice my portal gun first? Yes, I do, actually. 
You performed this test better than anyone on record. This is a pre-recorded message. This is the same play we came in though, right? I guess it's changed now? Or we're just leaving through the same way we came in? Ah, I see, so that was a 1 okay. Okay. Cool. Nice work! I look forward to the others. I think. <laughs> well guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I will see you all in another video. Goodbye!